Hi guys, it's Dior from Tonga. I work as a whale swim guide and a chef aboard a liveaboard charter boat, um, Whale Discoveries. And I wanted to show you a little bit behind the scenes of charter life. Um, behind every Instagram photo that looks just amazing and every vacation story that everyone walks away with is us. And yes, it's an amazing lifestyle. It is an epic job, but it also comes at a price. I realize it's very hard to actually show some of the difficulties because I never film them, but I am going to try my best in this video to show you what charter life is like. I'm not here to complain about it. I'm here to show you how awesome it is and a little bit of the hard work behind the scenes as well. Hello, I'm here on Wildlife. We're on our third trip of the season whale swimming. We've had two liveaboard trips before this one. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of an insight into charter life. It's pretty tiring work, but it's pretty fun too. Um, and right now we've got a mum and calf whale just sitting just outside the boat here somewhere. Over there. Anyways, we're gonna go check them out and then I will get on to showing you day-to-day -day work. Uh, so there's lots of whales around this morning. We found one here that we're gonna maybe say hello to in the water. But we take guide. Okay, I'm the guide this trip. <laughs> I'm Dior's best friend. You wish. Oh. <laughs> Mum and I are swapping around this. <laughs> Mum and I are swapping around this year. I'm chef for one trip and she's guiding and then we swap over the next time. And this time she's guiding, but we've only got three guests, so I'm sneaking in the water. I'm, I'm the skipper and I swap with myself for the next trip, next trip I'm the skipper. And, um, and the following trip I swap again and I'm the skipper. There's a whale right there. <laughs> We've got a lively bunch of whales today. just pulling into Anchorage. We've had an awesome whale swim day. 
Um, and it is that time to start chefing away. Tonight I'm making uh, tuna pasta, because we called it tuna on the way up. Um, yeah, it's gonna be good. Hopefully. I have to make two separate meals though, because I'm dairy free, gluten free, and dad's gluten free, and mum's dairy free, and the guests aren't, so. Before I crack on with dinner, I'll show you our anchorage for the night, which we are pulling into right about now. This is our homemade um, rolling pin. It's made from bush timber from an island. Uh, my brother made it like 10 years ago and we've never had another rolling pin. If it works, it works, baby. Good morning. It's time to go swimming off the bow before breakfast. Look, I decided to swim into the tree here and I thought it'd be fun to jump off. Also, it's good exercise. I think my best bet is to jump off there because it's the deepest. Better go back and prepare breakfast for everyone. It is now time to prepare a fruit salad and everything else. I'm also doing lunch prep straight away as well, so. I've made bread, the bread maker here. Um, I've done breakfast and it's time to start prepping lunch. Go tell sushi and rice and I'm just chopping some veg. We're having it with this fresh tuna that we caught on the way up yesterday. I'm doing that so that I can go outside and watch things later and not have to be inside. somewhat finished lunch prep and it's time to pull up the anchor and start looking for some whales. Hi Dad. Uh. Breaching whale. What? Something we get asked a lot is the legality behind all of this. And well, it's actually kind of hard work. 
Dad and Mum both have to go through the pain of applying for licences every year. We have to go through captain's courses and guide courses occasionally and keep everyone certified. It's not actually a promised thing that we'll even get our licence that year. This is always a difficult battle because of the Ministry of Tourism. Kind of hard to reach sometimes and um, makes it a little bit difficult. We just had an awesome swim with a um, female and a male sub-adult. They were crazy in front of the boat. It was awesome. And now it's time for a cuppa. More morning tea time for everyone who doesn't speak Australian. I'm going to start doing some more lunch prep just to be prepared. Bye! So I'm just doing lunch prep and someone came to say hi. <laughs> finished lunch the work doesn't stop we're going to find some more whales so that's what I'll be doing for the next who knows how long when we're not in the galley or cleaning we'll be out on deck spotting whales rain or shine oh look there's a whale I don't know, I've lost count of how many times we've been in and out of the water today. But it's now time to start some dinner prep. And we're making curry, so I'm gonna make some coconut cream from scratch. So my eyes, these in my mouth, too much water, gotta get out. I should probably swim, I don't wanna hurt. Think I saw a fish in my backseat Losing my shit so slowly Try to swim away but I'm in Home for the night Home Thanks home. Captain Jiggity jig We have anchored up I'm currently making some dinner We're having curry tonight Mum as the guide has just taken the guests in to shore here at Namuka, which is actually our home island, um, to have a look around the village and get them off the boat a little bit because we need to clean up and do some boat maintenance stuff. I'm about to go and clean the cockpit and clean the kitchen and get ready for dinner. So, yeah. It, despite being incredibly tired right now, there is no rest for the wicked. But on the other hand, plus I, I did just get to fly my drone and there are three mothers and calves sitting right next to the boat in the channel here. So I went and filmed all three of them and you can have a look at that while I go clean
Howdy. We've chucked the hydrophone down to have a listen to some whales that are serenading us at the moment. Check it out. We have the hydrophone down right now, which is basically a microphone that goes underwater and we can listen to the whales and what they're up to down there. And we've got some nice little chatter, not necessarily a song, but there's definitely quite a few individuals down there making some noise, so have a listen. Mum's spitting straight facts at me right now. Do you know why the whale got so big? Like bigger than any other animal that has ever been recorded or to our knowledge. Because the bigger you are, the easier it is to maintain temperature and we're coming out of an ice age actually. So what's gonna happen with our planet now coming into global warming? We're all gonna get bigger. Facts and information for the guests is very important part for us um, to educate people and kind of further the importance of of caring for whales and the entire ocean as a matter of fact so we take a lot of pride in that as crew on board whale discoveries here We don't see um, dolphins other than like s some local spinners here very often so we've sent the drone up to have a bit of a look see what kind of dolphins they are and, and check it out a little bit. It's very exciting!
holding on cause it's delicate Hi guys This is, this is what happens at the end of the day Video editing I am extremely tired right now but we are almost done with our third charter and then we get one day turn around and then we've got our next guest that's it for my video of what it's like on charter but I'm going to answer a few questions first before we go do we ever get sick of it and yes we do <laughs> Whilst it is an amazing job and we're in a beautiful location swimming with whales almost every day, it's also very challenging because we don't get any time to ourselves. It's three months of living with other people, strangers as a matter of fact, sharing our home with them. Um, you don't, we don't get a day off so it's just three months of every day, all day, 24-7. And for someone like me who needs time to go off by themselves to recharge their social battery, uh, I suffer. But you meet amazing people. It's also challenging just being in the elements all the time. Um, we're in the sun and the water all day. And if it's rainy and horribly windy and stormy, you have to still get out there and go and entertain the guests, find something for them if there's no whales. And it's how long have we been doing this? We've been doing it for 15 years, but before that my parents were running a charter boat business in Australia. So they've been in the charter industry for a long time, which dad is getting very sick of sitting at the helm all day, every day. It's a very hard job for him. Third question we get asked most often is, do we ever wish we're doing something else? No, because <laughs> this is what we're good yep. at. Anywho, that's me. I have to go check on dinner. I will uh, catch you later.